Hi there, my name is Josh. I'm one of the energy assessors here at At Space. And the question that I'm answering in this video is how do I achieve an A rating on my SAP assessment and then sequentially the EPC certificate? So there are a few different ways to achieve an A rating, but predominantly they are almost always achieved with the installation of solar panels on the roof. However, that is not the only thing that should be taken into consideration when trying to achieve an efficient EPC rating of A. You should also be looking firstly at the fabric of the build. It's all well and good having renewable technology installed on the property, but it's not going to reduce energy requirement, which is probably the single most important thing to do. So firstly, you need to make sure that the property is insulated well. You need to make sure that the windows are high performing. You also need to make sure that the building is airtight. So following airtight principles, such as sealing up at every single fixed stage. Furthermore, you will also need to make sure that you limit thermal bridging. But finally, the way to achieve an A rating is to install solar panels. So once we've looked at the fabric of the build, we've made sure that everything there is correct and done to the best of our abilities. And then we've also created our top up with our renewable technology. We also must never forget that we need to pay close attention to the fixed services of the building. So firstly, if you're using intermittent extracts, make sure that specific fan powers are low. Um, if you're using MBHR systems, make sure that the design of the building is orientated in such a way that actually accommodates the system to be used. Because if you're not designing a building around an MVHR system, for instance, then every single bend and curve that that ducting has to make decreases the efficiency of a system. So you're essentially retrofitting it to a new property. But as well as the mechanical ventilation systems that you must look at, you also have to take into consideration the type of heating system that you're going to be using. Is it sized correctly to the property? Have you asked for the heat loss coefficient values from your SAP assessor in order to correctly size your heating system? And then once you've done all of this and looked into everything and optimized it for your development, you will then potentially be left with an A-rated building. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like me to answer any more of your questions, please visit the Knowledge Hub to make your request and remember to like and subscribe.